Double take. A double take refers to the act of quickly looking at something, then looking back again in surprise or confusion. It's typically a moment of realization that prompts a second more careful observation. An artist that has mastered the double take would be Twitter slash X artist Kyle. Kyle primarily draws characters from popular anime or game series like Pokemon, Spy X Family, and Konosuba, as well as tasteful lewds. At a glance, it's not that hard to see the appeal of his art. Kyle has a fun, distinct, and easily recognizable art style. It's gotten to the point where I think I could probably point it out anywhere in the wild. While it's not unusual for artists to focus on well-known series like he typically does, what makes Kyle stand out would be his willingness to be spicier with his art in subtle but crazy ways. If you see a character looking excited or happy, chances are there's something disastrous happening in the background, or there's a small detail that changes what you're looking at entirely. And this isn't just a few drawings, it's most of them. In fact, it's one of the primary reasons they're so popular. I've organized these bits, or jokes, or whatever you want to call them, into three categories. One-off bits, story bits, and real-life bits. None of these are official or anything, it's just how my brain organizes these. Let's start with one-offs. Here's a drawing of Sayori from Doki Doki Literature Club, enjoying a car ride. Except something's wrong. Is someone trying to choke her out from behind? <laughs> Wait, are they driving off a cliff? Why does Sayori look so happy? Here's a drawing of Aqua, working with some customers. That's pretty cute. I think she's making shoes or something. Wait, is this a sweatshop? And I think her hair is getting pulled into the fan. Here's a drawing of Anya from Spy X Family, trying to get Yor's attention for something. Let's see, in the background it looks like Lloyd is cheating on his wife with Fiona. Cool, cool. I guess the joke is that Anya is trying to warn Yor about the scandal. It's kind of funny. A comment here says, reference video. Oh, oh, okay, that's what, that's what that was, yeah, okay. These are the kind of bread and butter drawings that I've come to expect from Kyle. They're often cartoonish or morbid, but are generally all in good fun. Generally. Kyle gets pretty creative and obscure with these references, so every drawing is inundated with comments trying to figure out what's wrong. If you wanted more social media engagement, this is a pretty ingenious marketing method. And you know what? I appreciate it. I don't always get the jokes. While a lot of these pictures are decent one-off jokes, Kyle goes the extra mile with their story bits. Sometimes when you compile drawings from the same series together, you can kind of Frankenstein some sort of timeline. For example, when you group the drawings from Komi-san, Tarano the main character, seems to be hitting it off too well with Komi's mom, who, through a series of several drawings, is implied to be extremely flirtatious. While it's not outright said, I can make some educated guesses as to how this escalates. God, I wish that was me. Komi seems to be extremely close with a totally not drug-loving Najimi, who is slowly proving to be a terrible influence. So much so, that after handing an ignorant Komi a bag of narcotics before being checked out of an airport, she lands herself in court. Good luck talking yourself out of this one. None of this is canon, obviously. Komi and Tadano are pure, wholesome people who can't be corrupted by MILFs and drugs, unlike me. Komi's mom is canonically playful, but unfortunately faithful. Najimi is... Well, I, I could see him doing some of these things. I totally haven't kept up with the manga, but you know, he might, might be on something. Another series Kyle drew with a story bit involves Kana from Dragon Maid. Kobayashi seems to have adopted a pit bull, which have a notoriously good reputation. Kana has internal prejudices about pit bulls that she needs to work through, and will have to live with her newfound friend. The next drawing is- Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. I think she's dead. The dog's done did her in. Is what I would say, but clearly this is all ketchup. See? All good. To totally good. We're, we're fine. The next drawing Kyle posted is a visit to the graveyard. This has nothing to do with the previous drawing. In fact, I don't know why I'm showing you this. The next drawing is Kana alive and well, 
just don't mind the stitches on her face or her missing tail. You know, accidents happen. Alright, I think you're getting the point of these story bits. They're similar to the one-off bits, except are extended through a few more drawings. Let's move on to the last spicy meatball that Kyle plays with, which is real-life bits. Kyle's real-life bits are jokes that blend real-world current events or odd trivia with different anime series. For example, did you know that Nagatoro's Japanese voice actor, Sumire Uesaka, is a big fan of Russia and its culture? Here's an interview of her where she sings in Russian. What the heck? Kyle naturally drew Nagatoro with Vladimir Putin, who, coincidentally like Nagatoro, is also very into judo. It kind of goes without saying why this is spicy. You know, considering current events or something. I'm not sure if you've heard of the Russia-Ukraine war. It's not good. Anyways, here's a drawing of a US soldier holding a small North Korean soldier. That's pretty cute. What's even more cute is what this drawing might be referencing. <laughs> Look at this dude. Finally, here's the main characters from Girls Last Tour on a plane. At first, it doesn't seem like a real-world reference until you see the date this image was released, being September 11th, and the date on this drawing being May 5th, 2011, the day Osama bin Laden lost the game of hide-and-seek. Just don't mind the original text added to the tweet. God damn it, Kyle. And with that, you have a pretty good idea of Kyle's style now, with most of their jokes being one-off, story, or real-life bits. I think it goes without saying why Kyle might have a reputation as being that artist. He's more willing to be openly morbid or dark with his sense of humor and channels it through different anime series drawn in lovely art, and I'm a huge fan. I don't think he has an obvious political bend or an explicit desire to hurt anyone with his drawings, but his willingness to play with touchy subjects is appealing to a lot of people, including myself. You know, what's one more Sayori Dies meme? Surely that wouldn't affect any specific demographics, now would it? Nah, no way. Alright, everything I've shown you is probably what Kyle's most well known for. It's good stuff, but I want to dig deeper. I want to talk about the weirdo shit. You know, the technical behind the scenes stuff that people like me, who has zero visual art literacy or understanding about growing a following, are fascinated by. So let's dig in. The first extremely impressive thing Kyle does that actually isn't even art specific is his constant upload rate. Drawing after drawing after drawing, in two to three days time, Kyle consistently puts out a fully completed piece. And these aren't sketches or small works, but finished works of art that are interesting and unique. As an extremely inconsistent content creator myself, I am totally blown away at this work ethic. I imagine he does this full time, but to always have the next idea ready on the back burner just baffles me. If you want a visual, here's a calendar of the days he uploaded for the previous few months. Jesus Christ. Homie has 1 million followers on Twitter for a reason. The second impressive thing I found with Kyle is how technical of an artist he is. If you look at enough of his art, you probably start to notice a consistent theme with some of these, which is that these drawings are supposed to come off as candid photos. There's kind of a funny, casual chaos to all of these. In the same way, a random phone camera picture might be framed, and it's obviously intentional. To add on to that effect, the actual technical part that Kyle uses is something called five-point perspective, or a fish-eyed lens. It's like four dots on a page, north, south, east, west, and then one dot in the center. And these kind of serve as a guideline to make unique curved warping to a drawing. As a non-artist, this seems technical as hell, on top of being extremely effective, and I love it. It really does look like a camera took this picture. The last interesting thing I just wanted to add on is about subject posing. This is, again, technical, but I think I actually understand this one. There's this thing that artists do to either warm up or to get a general feel of a drawing, and it's called 
gesture drawings. Gesture drawings are supposed to be quick sketches used to capture the flow of a movement or a rhythm of a subject. I am totally guessing here, but I get the feeling that Kyle probably did a shit ton of these. Just about every one of Kyle's drawings has this exciting energy to it that I can't get enough of. They feel expressive, alive, and angular when it needs to be. To me, it feels like there's an assertive confidence behind each subject. And all of this, of course, is working in conjunction with the off-kilter camera angles. The combination of those two things is just fucking beautiful, man. Beautiful. When I dig into Kyle's older drawings, you can kind of see where this energy is coming from. You get the sense that there's an exaggerated looseness with some of these, and it kind of gives you a better idea as to how much he must have gradually worked on his skills to get to where he is today. And I respect the hell out of those efforts. So, yeah, Kyle is more than just a meme shit poster type Twitter artist. On top of being controversial, saucy, and spicy, he's also extremely consistent, technical, and creative, in a way that draws in so many followers, myself included. While I could see some people being turned off by the offensive aspects of some of his posts, I think Kyle's art is overall good-natured enough to be worth looking at and following. With that said, I, I think that's it. That's, that's all I've got. I'm gonna go eat like a foot burger or something. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.